Hey everyone, uh, I'm back with a new video here, and today I will be showing you guys uh, a cool method that I've just researched all around, and this is how you're going to bump your FPS. You can have like the crappiest computer in the world, like and still play really high-end games. Now, keep in mind, this only works for NVIDIA cards, and it, it probably does work for ATI, but I don't know the steps. But I'll be educating you along the way what we're actually doing, so if you have an ATI card, you know what to do. So basically, we are going to drastically drop some settings, okay? And the most important setting is the LOD bias, which we are going to be dropping for high-end games. So, LOD bias basically, when you have a LOD bias of zero, which is the default for all games, um, you preload textures and so forth, but when you crank your LOD bias up, um, the graphics will maintain a really sharp setting, even though you're far away from it, but when you crank it to negative, you will actually make it more low quality, like the closer you, when, when you get really, really close only, it gets sharp. I, I'm not sure if that makes sense to you, if it doesn't, just, um, you know, post a comment and ask, and I'll try and explain it more clearly, but anyway, so basically, um, that's what LOD Bias does, and the way you're going to edit this is go to my description and download this program called NVIDIA Inspector. And this is going to be the easiest way to be changing your LOD bias. I'm not going to be messing with Reva Tuner and all that. Um, so pump up NVIDIA Inspector, and you're going to have all your GPU and BIOS here. You're going to click this driver version. You're going to click this thing, and click Yes. And it's going to come up with a whole lot of settings. Now, what you're going to do is, here you're going to be editing the global driver profile. That's fine if you want to... Um, you know, have a global driver profile, that means all your games are going to run these settings. But if you don't, choose the game that you want to to edit from this humongous list. It's got pretty much every popular game out there. And if you don't find your popular game that you want to edit, um, then just click this button here, and that's Create New Profile. Enter the profile name, and then once you've entered the profile name, then just click this button right here. It's blanked out right now because it's a it's already a profile, but once you click that, um, browse your application and add it. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So um, I'm going to be editing Dota 2 because I do a lot of videos related to Dota 2, and if I can find it, here it is. So here's Dota 2. So basically, I keep everything, whatever. Like you, most of the stuff is pretty much explanatory. If you don't know, do a Google search and see whether turning it off or on will increase your performance. Uh, some stuff is, is pretty pretty straightforward, like texture filtering quality. Change that to high performance out of, you know, all these high performance. And the thing you want to change here is make negative LOD bias allow, and then change LOD bias from 0 to negative 2.5 or higher. Okay? And the highest LOD bias you're going to have, you can go as negative 3. Uh, because if you go to negative 10, your game will literally look like CS 1.6. It will look really, really crazy. So, you know, this is great for for if you just want to play the game. I know if you have a bad computer, you most likely wouldn't give a shit about the graphics. So I think this is a great way to do it. And this works for, for most, if not all, games. One thing you do have to keep in mind, though, is if it is not working, the in-game settings might be the one affecting, so um, check your in-game settings. There might be some things that are stopping it. And once you click that, you just click Apply Changes and you're done. And edit whatever other game you want to edit. Uh, yeah, and this has really helped me in games like Dota 2. I've, I've pumped my FPS up from 40 to about 60, and the graphic detail is actually not that much different, considering that Dota 2 is like a, a bird's-eye view thing. And... Um, uh, it especially helped me in Final Fantasy XIV. I can actually get past the character selection screen, and I can't really show you the in-game play for that because it's currently in beta, and I think I'm like violating something if I show you. But anyway, just try this out and tell me what you think. And yeah, so I hope this helped you. If you're running an ATI card or anything else, just do a quick search what sort of program you're going to use and follow the same sort of settings. 
So I hope this helped you, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.